This week, we snorkel the pristine waters of Phantom Island. Step into another buried chapter of Australia's history and try our hand at various coconutting methods. Welcome back to All the Stars Sailing Adventures. How's it going, Skipper? Good, good. Trying to avoid a sand lap. I feel like I'm about to ground the boat. Yeah. How deep is it? Six foot three. Ah, laughing. It's got there, Rach. And steering whilst eating chips. Yeah. I think she's getting a bit too cocky. So Rach, why are we both retarded? I don't know. Here we are. So you, your neck's gone out, your shoulder's pinching, so yeah. you're sort of turning, okay. moving very gingerly. And I've got the same situation. So we both go just sort of limping along. We're not doing so. anything. No, no, we are. They're kind of three quarter reefed. Yeah, that's nice, sir. Uh. No bay. I'm gonna stay on course, on the wind, and on the wave. Another following sea, following uh, wind. I'm so over the wind. <laughs> so over the Give us some headwinds. After a very leisurely day sail from Townsville, we made our anchorage at the Palm Islands before dark, and we were meeting up with our friends on Deja Vu the next morning. Absolutely amazing. Super still. Gonna have to go for a snorkel, I think. It's too good not to.
really big long fish. No. As soon as I got in, there yeah. was fish like that long. Yeah, ma mac it looked like mackerel. Is that what oh, they were? Really? Well, it looked like it, yeah. Oh, and there was a school of like 20 of them. Ah. It was so cool. <laughs> I missed that. So we're just drifting around um, just off Phantom Island, just on the northern, northern side of Phantom Island. As soon as we got in over at the channel, we saw these massive, what Peter reckons, a mackerel. I got in, there was a school of about 20 of them underneath me, so that was really cool. Despite its idyllic location, Phantom Island was used by the Queensland Government as a leper hospital for Aboriginal and Islander patients. It ran from 1939 to 1973, when the complex was burned down to the ground intentionally and closed. Must have been the engine room, generator room. full-length documentary featuring leprosy survivor Joe Egmolisi can be found on SBS and offers insights into this dark part of Australia's history. What's going on there? To the right a little bit, yeah. Hey! <laughs> okay, normally I go straight up, it's just I've got a sore knee. Yeah. We're still determined not to give up on the coconut hunt. I know. It's just signs of humanity everywhere, but Take a good look, this is where we're heading. <laughs> yep, we've had to give up on the coconut mission. Gosh darn it. Come back with longer extensions. Look at that for a sunset. Your phone has one bar? Yeah, I'm Optus though. With Optus, and we're here at an anchorage at Phantom Island, and we've flicked on our router to test it, and we have full reception. So that's very exciting. It means that our master aerial is doing its job. Wi Fi, hey. data. What do you want to do this morning? <laughs> We're going coconut hunting. That's a good idea. You've so far been unsuccessful. Very, very unsuccessful. We're very determined little coconut hunters. Mm. Ashore, I say. <laughs> Coconut you got there? Yeah, I got a big coconut. Uh, I've got a small one by the looks of it. But we've got two coconuts. Coconut, coconut coffee. Coconut
Join us next week as we explore tropical mountaintops and have a guest appearance from the almost naked chef. Bye.